All right, so I'm doing the the non ACPI test. You know the hidden. It's safe to shut down screen. I'm using my ThinkPad Pro 20. Here's the first test with Windows XP. So let's see how one. I'm using my whole try for this. The new try. I'm leaving it alone. So yep, here's the Windows XP version of the of the safe to shut down screen. You can see here the XP logo and it says it's now safe to now we're gonna do Windows 7 next. Now we're on Windows 7 and we're gonna do the same thing here. Shutting down. On the screen. It's now safe to turn off. This is actually the same one they use on Windows Vista, so yeah. And they also use this for Windows 8 and 8.1. But now let's cut over and jump to Windows 10. And this is the final test on Windows 10. As you can see here. So let's see what it looks like on 10. Oh, I accidentally. Oh no! Uh, yeah, I accidentally have space, but anyway, fix that. Sub's shut down. Shut down anyways. Just, so let's see what the, the the shutdown screen looks like on Windows 10. Yeah, of course for the shutdown screens they're not enabled. You have to actually go use GP Edit to enable it. There's lots of stories online, but yeah, here's the Windows 10 version. It's now safe to power off the system. Because <clears throat> with Windows 10, they actually changed the thing, this message. But yeah, for all these versions, the same. Just power up, press the power button, and and just like that. And of course, for for like NT lines like XP7 and 10, it this is reversible. You you can enable the ATPI thing. Also, like if you're doing the you know the GB edit thing, you it's also reversible. You could just re disable it or just go back to a non enabled. So yeah, because the normal shutdown it won't because you only have you have to do it with the command. So yeah, that was a little fun experiment. Hope you guys enjoyed.